Tell me, is that thunder or artillery? That's artillery, Spivak. Oh, good. I hate to drive in the rain. <laughs> yeah, my old outfit's probably up there somewhere in the line. Boy, I'd give anything to be back with them. Yeah. I'd give anything to be back with that old outfit of mine, too. <laughs> Big Charlie, Gunner, Bimbo, Dum Dum. <laughs> what outfit are they in? No outfit. Bartenders at a club I worked in Toledo. <laughs> I emceed that for five years. Five years? Yeah. Yeah, you really must have had something, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Stop. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, Spivak. I didn't ask for this duty. Playing wet nurse to a bunch of actors. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, Spivak. I've got nothing against actors. I, I remember I met Chester Morris once during a bond rally. Seemed like a real nice guy. <laughs> Decker, you're hitting me with the guitar again. It's not a guitar, it's a bass. Look, I'm just as uncomfortable as you are. Give me a favor, sit here, will you? It's not my fault I had to drag the bass all over Europe. Just get off my back about the bass. Okay, okay. You can get the bass off my back, right? Fast, fellas, fast, huh? Hey, how about that, fellas? This new kid, Sinatra, just broke my record at the Paramount. What was your record? He sat through Gone with the Wind six times. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, maybe you like to throw a couple of baseballs at my head. What? I said maybe you like to throw a couple of baseballs at my head while you're at it. Well, what's the matter? Wouldn't you miss a hole once in a while? I'm just throwing Georgie Binderhead. And where he goes, I go. Ah. Just, uh... I feel uncomfortable around entertainers. I don't know, to me it's unnatural for a grown man to put makeup on his face. Strange, Sarge. The first time I saw you, I thought you were an actor. Come on, me an actor? Sure. Really? Really. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> now, my friend, I'm regular army. That's all I know. R.A., R.A., three up and two down. <laughs> uh, well, you know, some of the guys, they say I... I look a little bit like Pat O'Brien. I don't see it, but... Yeah, the hairline. No, not the hair, on the eyes. <laughs> yeah, the eyes. I'll tell you one thing, Spivak. Hey, what's that, sir? After the war, yeah. I'm getting out of show business. <laughs> That's about 14 kilometers from here. How long will it take to pack and get this uh, 
show on the road. Shouldn't take more than 25 minutes. Of course, if the guys help me with the heavy stuff, it'll take about... About an hour and a half. <laughs> Then I play this to your record. They've already blown it nine times. <laughs> what uh, regiment is that? That's when Fuhrer is Herman Goering's bodyguard. Fine looking body of man. <laughs> <laughs> what platoon is that one? That's when Fuhrer is Herman Goering. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Well, come on, move the piano. I'll let grow. I'll let grow. Rock, Steve. We just finished the show. What do you want, a pass party? Come on. Minahan says move. Let's move. Yeah, but we're entitled to a little rest. <laughs> Complain to your agency. Can't yeah, fight for Japan. <laughs> Let's go, Lydia. Go in the truck. In the truck. Watch the base. Watch the base. Ah! What's the what? <laughs> is this U.S. Army Entertainment Unit Number Four? What does it look like? Baron von Richthofen's Flying Circus? <laughs> number Four. I, I've got your mail. Mail! Hey, 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 Let's look at the boys haven't had any mail for six weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please, you feather merchant. <laughs> I am tired of this lack of discipline. Let's form two ranks. Move, 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 move. Come on, you people, shape up. Pull arms right through the man to your right, the man to the rear. It's Now let's look like soldiers. We don't do impressions. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Brown? I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything? Well, then, to Julio, he, uh, he's a ventriloquist, huh? <laughs> because I heard words! I mean, out of your empty head, boy! Hi, <laughs> Decker. You called yourself a soldier? No, sir. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, <clears throat> what do you call yourself? My dicker. <laughs> Power? Power, can you hear me? Very well, sir. Because I know you can't see me. Get those sunglasses off your face, Power. <laughs> now, you people may be used to what we call Broadway. But from now on, we will do it the army way. I did not get these stripes by being somebody's patsy. I earned these stripes. These stripes mean something to me. When I talk, you people listen. I very rarely have to repeat myself. What's that, Sarge? I say I very rarely have to. <laughs> so from now on, we will hold mail call in the prescribed army manner, that is, i.e., <laughs> hand the mail to the next ranking senior non-commissioned officer, who in this case happens to be Corporal Spivak. <laughs> Now, he in turn will call out the name of the addressee on the letter or package. First name last, last name first, middle initial if you have one other. Any questions, no feedback, hand out the mail. <laughs> Michael, Sergeant. You! <laughs> Barton, Billy Joe. I'm right here. There you go. Come on, come on. Power. Speaking. Bauer. Any more there? Come on, Bauer. Oh, Hort. Yeah, sorry. Uh, thanks, thanks for the letter. Did you get mine? Yeah. yeah. It sure is hard to think of things to write about. I don't care if you just send an envelope. It's, uh, you know, it's good for morale. <laughs> Keller. Thanks, Beef. Wilson. Thanks, Beef. Th DeJulio. Right, thanks, Beef. Beef. Sergeant. Sir. I just want to congratulate you on the show you did for my men. Thank you, sir. You show people do a great job. Oh, well, I'm not really in the... <laughs> oh, <clears throat> well, thank you. We, we, we try. We try. <laughs> Where do you go from here? Well, we're heading to Fleury Samara, sir. Uh, right there. Yeah, we're going to entertain the 354th Armored Regiment. Fleury Samara? We just liberated it yesterday. Yesterday? I'd be careful if I were you. The situation's pretty fluid up there. Good luck, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, you people, change hut, parade, rest, ready. Do <laughs> you people know where we are heading? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Where is Sir Mayor? Where is that's right. I was just informed that the situation up there is uh, pretty fluid. <laughs> There's a good chance we might see some action. <laughs> I don't think it's that kind of action. So from now on, this unit will maintain forward area discipline. Let's move it up. Come on up now. Hold it. Here comes the John Wayne impression. Oh, what? Spread out, sir. Yeah. Spread out, guys. <laughs> I hate 
hate to tell you, Sarge, but uh, nobody's here. Maybe they heard we were coming. Look, all I know is we have orders to set up for a show here. Well, somebody forgot to book an audience. <laughs> well, lucky we're not working on percentage, huh, fellas? <laughs> hey, fellas, look. Must have been some party. Oh. Well, it was a domestic wine anyway. <laughs> hey, fellas, look. A souvenir. Here, hold my face. Light like a freeze. Oh, but Sarge, I saw it first. I said freeze. Oh, come on, Sarge. You heard me, boy. Be back. Take my rifle. Rescue men back up. Any of you people know what that is? I do, Sarge. Horton, what is it? That's a helmet. <laughs> it's a helmet, Horton. But it's more than that. I'm going to show you what it is. All right, you people. Hit the dirt. Now, these crowds are tricky. That's what we call your, your booby trap. That is, i.e., your booby trap. <laughs> your booby, booby trap. Your booby trap. I guess they say that together, Speedback. Your booby trap. That's better. Now, if you that in your minds here, it might save your life. <laughs> Hey, man, look what I found, a bottle of champagne. Hey! 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 Bauer, do not move a muscle. What's up, Sarge? Now, these crowds will booby trap anything and everything. Hand it over. Oh, Sarge, let's have a party. Hand it over and gently. Sarge! All right, you people, hit the dirt. <laughs> well, I... <clears throat> well, I told you, them crowds are tricky. I don't want to worry you people, but, well, we may be in a German pocket. German oh, pocket? Oh, 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 that's great. Oh, great. I can see it now. A showbiz first. We'd be the only entertainers ever taken prisoners. <laughs> well, boys, remember the Geneva Convention. If an entertainer is taken prisoner, he need give only his name, rank, and his answering service number. <laughs> There's a chateau up there. I want to go check it out. Might make a good observation post. I'd like someone to come with me. I think it ought to be a volunteer. How about you, Spivak? Yeah, I think it should be a volunteer, too. Good. But why? Spivak. Ours is not the reason why. I know the rest of it, and I never liked it. <laughs> rest of you men, set up for the show. Oh, come okay. on. All right, All right, right knock it here. off. Now, listen, we have orders to entertain the 354th Armored Regiment. If and when they show up, we are going to be ready. Is that clear? Horton. Yes, Sergeant. We'll be back in half an hour. You're in charge of the troops. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, and kill off! Spivak, you're beautiful. <laughs> Tell him to put that tree there. <laughs> All right. You've got to stay alert, Spivak. I'll try, Sarge. Spivak, you check out the front, be careful. I'll go around and check out the back. Yeah, I'll be careful. Ah! 
just destroyed private property belonging to the indigenous personnel of this household. It probably will cost the government a great deal of money. Get on your feet, boy. All right, let's check upstairs. We can get a better view up there. Come on. Check out this room. Get me out of here, Steve. What you doing, Sarge? What do you think I'm doing, you knucklehead? Get me out of here. Hey, somebody's coming, Sarge. I don't care who's coming. If you don't let me out of here, Steve, I'm going to bust you down the private so fast. You won't know it. Oh, Steve, I think it's the bad guy, sir. Bad guy. Here, take a look. It's a German, Steve, let's go. Here's if we take the road. Let's get the Jeep and hide in the back. Oh, look, uh, Mon General, we're all set to go except for the costumes. Well, they're in the Jeep with Sergeant Minahan. Aren't you nervous? No. Good. No sense both of us being sick. <laughs> Stay, Sanders! What does that mean? Keep walking. I don't think so. <laughs> If you had any backbone, Spivak, you would have refused that blindfold. <laughs> seen one firing squad, you've seen them all. I give you one more chance to talk. Who's that? Will you stop it? No. Very well. Achtung! Ready! Aim! Hey, hold it! Fire! I'll talk! I'll talk! What kind of talk is that you talk? What are you talking about, Spivak? This could have been a sick right for me and maybe metal for both of us. <laughs> You're right. We're spies. Both of us. Spies. Who's I knew it? I want information. Well, there's something you better know. This whole place is surrounded and you better give up. What? Onsen! Onsen! Well, onsen this. I'm giving the signal, Sergeant. Hey. 
Did you guys hear that? Three whistles, so what? That's my cue. Are you nuts? That's my cue and I ain't going to Where's my record? <laughs> You should have been in the canine court. You're a regular Pavlov's dog. Hello, sir. Where are you, boss? Sounds like the whole battalion. It is. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do with them, too. Sir, from Schreckmeister, surrender at prisoner of war. Picture. Most part. You people, drop your rifle. Drop, drop. Move out, move out. No. Uh, no. No. Oh, that Horton. He always overdoes it. But I'll tell you one thing. He had a good idea. And so, in my opinion, let me say that not only do you and Corporal Spivak deserve a medal, but every member of your show should receive a citation for... Meritorious. Meritorious conduct in the face of the enemy. How about that? Hey! Hey! All right, All right let's move them out. Hey! Okay. Hey! I can see it, huh? Bond tour parade! There'll be no end to it! I'll probably win a bronze or a silver star. Yeah, it'll go great with the lead in your feet. Watch my face! Watch my face! Yeah, it was a very impressive letter, Sarge. Pretty hard woman, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I'll tell you something, Spivak. That's about the best letter Horton ever wrote me. Hold <laughs> oh, on!